All right, next thing we're gonna do is get the wheel back on. I throw on some gloves, cause it is kind of a greasy job. I use uh, these for all my shop stuff. They're pretty cheap. Um, they're nitrile, so if you're uh, allergic to latex or anything like that, this stuff works good. All right, sorry about the mess. Uh, I know it can be distracting. Believe me, it's distracting for me. Um, but I feel like I'm never caught up on projects. And the second I start a project, it just, you know, usually all goes out the window. It gets clean like every three months and then, you know, something pops up. Anyways, so before I tighten up all the wiring on the inside, I wanted to mount, um, the rear tire and hub so that I can figure out how much um, slack I'm going to need on the cable and uh, yes yeah, so I don't have too much hanging on the outside and I can tuck whatever I don't need inside the, the little battery tray. I'm going to need some washers here. There is some small washers that came on the stock that I'm going to reuse. here and on the other side I'm gonna flip it so you guys can see and it does have like uh, it's not round you know it's um, has a little flat spot so that it doesn't spin and the other one fell off and I am by no means a professional I am learning as I go and just wanted to pass along the knowledge because some of this I had to figure out on my own. And some of it, you know, was uh, recommendations from people in the Facebook groups and stuff. So definitely a uh, big thank you to everyone who has helped me along the way. I thought I'd pass along some good info for you guys who haven't done this yet. Alright, so... And drop this in. All right. So when I, um, if I hadn't mentioned it yet, when I was trying to put the stock free wheel, uh, it basically went past this. So I had to stretch uh, the dropout to get it to fit. But then I realized that, <clears throat> excuse me, it was rubbing. Um, the free wheel was rubbing against here and there was basically nothing that I could do. So that's when I ended up going with the 16. But now that I stretched the drop out, I'm going to have to close it back up when I uh, tighten it all back down. I do got to get a chain on there. So before I put anything else on, let's get this chain situated. All right. I do have, uh, as I mentioned, a front um, sprocket coming in the mail to account for uh, having to increase the rear here. So, let me just drop that to the side there before I connect it all. All right, so I might be using a washer on the inside as well. Uh, it did come with several extras. So let me go ahead and do that now. Just remember to put the smaller one first. That um, it makes like a better contact with uh, the end of the axle. All right, and then the next one. All right, that looks much better. We gotta put in the torque arm. And then you put another washer out here. And then you finish it off with that. I'm probably going to put some Loctite in a second, so I'm going to leave a gap here and just temporarily have it sitting there. 
Uh, blue Loctite, by the way. Uh, definitely not red. So on the right side, I'll get a washer or two because there's a lot of axle um, sticking out. And on this side, I could actually use one of these um, also. Or I forget what these are called. On this side, you can because you got the little torque arm set up. To recap, I have the small washer, large washer right here, which wasn't there uh, with the stock. Uh, then I got the torque arm, a washer, and the nut. And I will be putting some blue Loctite on the bolt here uh, before I snug that down. And I'll grab that. Oy. This is the stuff I use. Got it on Amazon. Uh, Zap Z42. Tiny bottle. Comes out easily. Doesn't come pouring out. You can just put like as many drops as you need. Alright, so then we got the right side. And again, I have the small washer. The large washer. And then I was about to put a washer and I forgot that we have the the kickstand still. And it does have like this little groove, so um let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. It's it fits in like a slot. Then if I could find that slot. Oh, it's because I have it too far forward. About right there. And you get washer. Couple dabs. The threads that are closest to uh, that washer there. Then start snugging it up. There we go. Alright, for now it's just going to be finger tight. Because I still got to get my chain on. And before I forget, let me apply that Loctite to the left side. Alright, so I got my Loctite on there. Let me make sure this little torque arm is seated. Actually, let's get the chain on first. This is the part where you might want to wear gloves. Unless you don't mind getting all greasy. I don't mind, I just don't like washing my hands every couple minutes. I need to go grab a snack or pick up my phone. Alright, so... up over here on something. There we go. All right. All right, so with the current uh, rear freewheel, it is already pretty snug. I don't even need the, the tensioner to do hardly anything. So, here. I'll show you guys. It spins freely, except when it hits cables over here. Um, so now, let me loosen this up completely. So this won't be used any longer to help uh, keep the spacing for the chain so much as it'll help prevent the axle from ever falling out. Shoot, I hope I'm still able to use this piece. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tightening everything up and hoping that by bringing the uh, dropout back to stock uh, opening might help um, with some of this, uh, 
being able to cinch this back up, basically. Because with the torque arm, it's not, it's not clearing. So, let's start tightening these up. And I'm using a 17 mil. Uh, picked this up on Amazon. I got a 17 and a 19 because those are my most common. Um, I think it was a 19 that I used to take off the stock. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is a 17, so that's not going to fit. Um, but yeah, this I got on Amazon. Uh, basically just got, again, 17, 19. I had a pack uh, like this that has you know, a variety of sizes. Um, but... I wanted something that had this uh, ratcheting to make jobs a little bit quicker. Alright. Just do both sides little by little. Again, I gotta reposition the, uh, the kickstand. Side is nice and snug. Finish over here. Okay, so that's snug down all the way. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use this torque arm after all. As you can see, there's virtually no threads available to use. Oh, I know what it is. It's because of the chain. So my chain is so tight. Sorry, guys. That's uh, my dumb moment. Um, so the chain is so tight that it's not giving me any slack to be able to release this back. So I'm going to have to get a new chain. So that I'm able to give this some slack and put this back in. And at the same time, make space for the new uh, sprocket uh, that I'm going to be getting for the front. So, this will work for now. I mean, it does work. Um, it's lined up nice and straight. Uh, but when I get the new sprocket, I will be uh, changing the, the chain as well to solve this issue and also I think it's probably too tight anyways I shouldn't be using it like this <laughs> 